hi guys welcome to the video uh, about how to upgrade the SJKM SJKM uh, SJ6 uh, legend to the latest firmware uh, which is 1.4.6 um, yeah it's a really nice camera it has a few hardware bugs like this button is not really good sometimes you have multiple clicks in one but uh, apart from that it's really good makes good uh, pictures and great movies but um, it has really a few or couple of software box so sometimes when you start stop start stop uh, the video then you get stuck and it uh, records forever or you get into the settings menu and sometimes when it's bright you can't see it you think you are still recording and you're not recording at all so i hope we can get rid of this uh, bug with the 1.4 Six. So I've been trying to update the firmware with the app, uh, with the Android app. I have been installing the SJCam HD, which is the main app actually, and there was no function like firmware update. So I've been uh, doing a little bit of research and I came to uh like a forum or something like that where people said you have to um use the uh, sj cam zoom or soon soon app so i've been installing the zoom uh, soon app as well and i finally got to this function where it says firmware update but it didn't work and i got almost crazy and i went to the internet again and i have found this uh, when you see the change lock and you go into here and you see everything you see the first thing is re-add upgrade uh, upgrading firmware via via SJCam Soon app, so it's not possible with the Soon app unless you install this firmware. That isn't that crazy. So yeah, I hope it will really work after that. So yeah, how to do that? I have been yeah. You have to download or first you have to uh, format the micro SD card which you're using with FAT32 which you uh, probably already did before um, and then you have to download the uh, SJCAM bin app the strange thing is it's only a zip file when you go down here somewhere can't see it yeah when you go down to the page then there's an icon for the SJ cam bin but it's only a zip file so I don't download downloaded the zip file and I extracted also the zip file so I now have uh, the SJ cam bin file on the root yeah I had to extract it and copy to the root and I have also downloaded the loader file which is the LD966 bin so I have now everything all the three files on the root on my SD card the actual firmware as a bin as a zip and the loader everything is now on the SD card which is in so the so it currently looks like this on the SD card, the micro SD card. Um, yeah, if you are not familiar with the zip, I can show. This is the thing on which I downloaded. Uh, press right click, extract all. So you get, uh, yeah, click on this show extracted file when complete. Then you go down to extract. Um, yeah so what you then go um yeah or on the um sub menu like subfolder 
and you have this uh, folder the SJ Legion firmware folder so you can just drag and drop to the root or you can like uh, copy and go back to the root and paste of course I had it already then I have to say uh, replace otherwise you just copy and it doesn't ask and yeah so this is basically the folder which is totally unneeded of course because I think the cam won't be able to do anything with a folder so I just deleted that okay so at the end you have just the uh, loader bin the zip file and the new firmware bin that is everything you need to update the so it says firmware. power on if you have enough power you should make sure that the uh, camera is charged so then press the power button for three to five seconds which I will do now hopefully something will happen okay it starts flickering maybe we see something here that's really strange doesn't say anything so but it keeps flickering okay and it came back on I have no idea let's check for the settings and go down to the version and it's wow it's 1.4.6 that's the new version so that was pretty easy much easier than I expected so it seems to really work when you put all the three files on the root so I don't know if everything is needed maybe one or two of them are not needed but at least when you put all the three files the SJ6 cam bin and the zip file uh, of this the, the one which you download originally and the loader uh, if you put all these three on the root of your micro SD card it will work okay it doesn't show anything while it's updating it's just flickering with the LEDs and it doesn't take two to three minutes it was really quick so now I have the latest firmware so let's check uh, maybe if we can get rid of this problem with the recording so I try to record now um, yeah I'm starting the video stopping starting stopping maybe a little bit faster sometimes okay the strange thing it has been showing some key icon okay so we are now locked into the same problem again and after I click a couple of times it comes up with the settings so have you seen that I've just been pressing this button a couple of times and it did not only start stop it came up with the settings and yeah it does silly things so I don't know what this is maybe um, SJ cam isn't aware of this problem that's really bad I was hoping to get rid of that but you see there's an there are two icons for the zoom that's the great thing so let's try the zoom digital zoom well that's not bad okay 
it has some stabilization I think okay it's not super comfortable and yeah it has still this problem when you don't tap exactly to the right location but it's not bad I mean this is something I was uh, hoping for to get for a long time and now we got this digital zoom of course you can always crop and but um, especially in the video it's a pain it's much much easier when you have it on the camera I hope it will be also on the still photo yes we have it also here you can do it in several clicks or you can keep holding it so we can zoom in and out yeah that's not bad okay so yeah of course now you can still see that it's not focusing on about let's say that's about six inch inches so that's not really sharp not really clear not perfectly focused so I get closer to this yeah but uh, yeah it's not bad it's a uh, quite a good thing yeah it's a little bit difficult when I have to look to through my camera but yeah I hope you can really see that it's in the real it's a little bit easier because you don't have to look through you the uh, viewfinder of your camera that's a good thing I hope other functions will be great too like the underwater mode which we have and all the other fixes but it didn't fix everything of course that's a little bit bad but um, yeah and the hardware problem with the button probably it won't be fixed we can check this out um, so if we go here sometimes you had this double or triple click now I can't get any of them so maybe it was only a software issue I don't know it seems at the moment it does not occur these double clicks or triple clicks that's a good thing so yeah maybe they they solved it with some software update that's a good thing so maybe they will keep updating the firmware and we can finally get rid of more of this box so yeah at least it works i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you like the video give me thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time <laughs>